All right, another Saturday, and we are finally going to finish up the board and batten across the back today. I know it's been a long time coming, but it's just one of those things that we've worked on whenever we've had a little bit of spare time here and there and couldn't be working on the inside. So that's the plan today to knock this board and batten out on the back side of the house. This is the last large board and batten. Happy oh, day. Yeah. That is an invigorating feeling. There's a new word for you. <laughs> a lot of caulking is still to be done. Yeah, still got to caulk. And I got to fix some nails, but holy moly. Look at that. The back side is finally done. Oh my goodness. Here's a good look at the house all lit up. We are loving those front porch cam lights for sure. Good morning. What good morning. Is today? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So it's Monday morning and the plumber's coming. The tile guy, Jose, and his helper, they're coming to finish up today. Yay. And we are prepping for this week painting the outside and possibly starting our flooring if everyone's gone and then once that goes it's gonna go quick so I'm jumping up and down tuned, stay tuned but right now if you'll remember back when we did the awning we did not put the rain guard on because the instructions for installing this thing were horrible horrible horrible, horrible. like <sighs> Mike asked me why I didn't make a YouTube video about putting it together and all because everything about it was bad. But anyways, um, so we have to take the whole stinking awning down, put up the rain guard, and then we're gonna leave it off because we don't wanna paint it. We want to leave it off so that we can paint. So that's what we're about to do right now. We also had to put some board and batten up above and right up underneath the awning. So yeah, that had to get done because, you know, with the awning up there, we couldn't measure and cut and attach the pieces. All right, so our guys from Aspen came back today and they are here to install our tankless hot water heater, which obviously we're really excited about that just means we're one step closer to plumbing fixtures but they had quite a bit of work to do in this little utility closet while they took a lunch break mike and i jumped in there and finished installing some plywood on the walls and then they were able to come back and finish up the majority of their work today but they will be back again tomorrow Today, Jose was back and he was working on the penny round tiles in the spare bathroom floor. Plumbers were back finishing up all of their stuff that has to take place. And then, you know, they'll end up coming back later on. Um, Rondo was able to come over today and help Curry and Braden with their final plans for their layout. And we're super grateful for her talents and abilities here because she is very, um, good at this kind of stuff and just takes a lot of stress off of us and Curry and Braden. So if you'll notice, added a lot to the pile. Everything that's extra green was some stuff that I took off the side of the barn. I'm not letting Karen know yet. She was working inside the house and I just kind of disappeared and did a little bit of work. So I'll show you what I did. So 
what I did is I cleaned all the big stuff, the big stalks, things that take a little bit of work to get off on that fence line. But uh, this one I'm real happy to see. Came through here. Uh, as you can see, there <laughs> was some big weeds that have been growing for a long, long time. This is just one pile. I'm going to get it a little bit later with the tractor. But uh, clean this out, I guess. The garage door, barn door, whatever we decide to call that, won't come all the way down. So they kind of created a uh, nice little stop right here. You can see another one of those big roots clean this all out there's the weapon of choice that pick right there will do a lot of good work for you uh, look at the spider I saw about three or four of those I don't know what kind of spider that is it's a crazy big one though That's really 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 interesting spider and clean that all up got all the big stuff all of that that whole corner and i stopped as you can see um that is uh, nothing but couple burrs this is what i've been pulling up by hand for now we're going to spray for them when the time comes but uh i don't know if you guys have those where you live but uh they are not very much fun and they are everywhere if you'll notice this whole section right in here is just nothing but a cuckoo patch. And I'm gonna try and get the rest of those before the week is over. Anyway, making progress. There's the son-in-law out there doing his work, getting ready. I was really pumped to walk in and catch Alan and Jose grouting the master bath. Um, it looks unbelievably amazing. Um, are y'all ready for this? <gasps> So exciting. Looky, looky. Jose just finished up the grout in here, y'all. It is gorgeous. Oh my, wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm so happy that we went with the hex tile. You know, I just wanted everything to be timeless and simple and I was just gonna do I don't know what I was gonna go for on the floor and Mike picked the hex and I'm so glad he did love it now to get my glass ordered Wow this looks so great he's gonna come back tomorrow and grout this one, love that. Nice big niche there. And then that penny tile is so fun. I have been looking for fun rugs for my outdoor space here, the front patio. And one came in today, so I'm about to open it up and lay it under my rocking chairs and see how it's gonna look. The other one gets delivered tomorrow. Okay, I think that's pretty cute. And you know, my chairs are dirty right now, but I think once the house is painted and the windows are trimmed out, that's gonna be really cute. I like it. They're washable and fade resistant. They're kind of a plasticky. Let me give you an up close. Um, reversible can just hose them down. I think I'm actually gonna leave it out here overnight, see if it'll settle down a little bit, all the wrinkles and folds come out of it, but super cute. 
Um, I got this off of Amazon, so I will link it for you in the description below, by the way. Hey guys, here we are Wednesday morning. Went to our favorite place. We went to Spectrum Paint to get our paints. And exterior to, primer, because we already yeah, got all the exterior other Exterior primer, we, every, we had everything else. And we also went to Lowe's. We're gonna tackle the porch area because before we do paint, we gotta get that sealed up and done. And uh, spent a little bit more money, of course. And I was gonna buy the little the little strips that go between the joints to cover those up. And for a one eighth of an inch, eighth inch thick little strip, lattice strip was seven dollars and ninety eight cents. Eight dollars, the equivalent of it uh, when prices were really high for a two by four. Prices are just ridiculous. And I don't know who's at fault for all of this, but it's about dumb. So if you're going to do some building, um, I would highly recommend finding ways to shortcut. I bought a sheet of plywood for about $35, and I'm going to run run it through the table saw and, and make my own strips. But uh, wow, it's ridiculous. crazy, crazy, crazy prices right now. So if you're planning on building or, or renovating and all that, definitely be uh, prepared. Double your budget because the prices right now are, are really silly. I think I told you guys a couple of weeks ago that our oldest son, Hunter, is an area sales rep for Spectrum Paint. Well, it's really cool to walk in and see his handsome face on their advertising. The stuff that we got at Lowe's, um, we're gonna be working on cladding this beam right up here, which proves to be quite a chore. Um, not gonna be as easy as it sounds, so y'all just have fun watching us do this. Here's what it's looking like so far. There will have to be more trim work done. But my tripod broke, so I'm having trouble videoing. Oh, Mike wants to tell so you our, something. So our people's, so our people's know we're gonna have to put a board in here and make that look nice and level. And so what we're doing is we're dropping that board down to meet that, so that we have a really nice profile here. And so there was going to be a gap no matter what. So we'll just have to put a little smaller piece of trim in there. Trim, trim, trim. And cover up all the imperfections. Probably really tired of hearing how impressed I am with this shower, but I just have to show you. I put the light in. Woo! Sweet. Very cool. Now then, I am cleaning. So, Mike is doing some work outside on the beam, and actually he had to run to Home Depot and Lowe's to try to find some more wood but um i'm cleaning i've already done spare room and studio prepping for floors and now then this room Alrighty, we got this part 
pretty much finished up um, under the soffits. This beam, if you'll remember, there was a big ugly beam, but it was just two by sixes that were sandwiched together. So we cladded it with cedar and LP smart siding. And then we will paint that all black along with the post. So that'll look really nice. And this side, we still have to add another piece of trim on, but it's going to be beautiful. We, we can't decide what we're doing on that yet, but it's looking so good. Good job, good job. Today is Friday. Huge day. Huge day. Oh, my birthday. Oh, it's Karen's birthday today. Just kidding. Today is flooring day, and I'll take I'll take that for a birthday present. I um, already got candles. Mike threw sparks over there grinding the floor. We got to figure out each piece is seven and a, basically seven and an eighth, and, and you have to lay it out. You don't want to get to the very end and have like a little skinny little strip of not only waste material, but then that doesn't look very nice. So. We have a beautiful run in this particular room. So we have a five and a half inch piece on the very end. I'm so excited. And in the other room, a three and a half inch piece. So we're fixing to get after it. It's gonna look phenomenal. He is like the floor mapping expert and I am the floor laying expert. That's right. Good. Actually, we both work really well together on this and I can't wait for y'all to see it. tell you something this is one of the most beautiful floors we've, we've done them before we'll do them again uh, absolutely gorgeous what's cool is uh, I cut the ends back here I'll give you a tip in a minute when Karen can actually film uh, there's a tip for flipping those around and cutting them to size I'll do one here in just a second and give you a, a little bit of a hint as to how you can do those and make it a little faster and normally guys, when you get to an end like this, because you've got trim, it's gonna cover the end so you can miss by, you know, half an inch if you really want to. And so this board, this end right here is going here. I could take a measurement, but I can also go opposite and just click or mark it, not click it, mark it on the, the outside of this gray. And then when I cut that, I just flip it back over and it's the perfect length. So that's an easier, faster way of doing that. What the heck? We're in here doing flooring and Mike notices something in the corner. I'm about to freak out. What the heck? Where did this come from? All right, so obviously you guys know how I feel about snakes. Um, Curry was there too, so we were both a wee bit freaked out. Not okay with this at all. Couldn't really figure out where it came from, but we then decided we had had the doors open earlier this morning for a couple of hours, and maybe it crept in. Um, well, a couple of minutes later, Curry walks into the living room, and Salem has one kind of pinned playing with it. Luckily, they are rat snakes. They are non-venomous. All right, so here it is, the completed flooring in my studio. 
This is so beautiful. It's super core flooring and the color is called Rich Earth. And we have this exact same flooring brand in our house, our old house, but it was um, a different color. But this Rich Earth is beautiful, pulls a lot of your color scheme together and just looks amazing and wears really well. Hey guys, it is uh, the end of week 32. Uh, as you have already seen, we're gonna just kind of recap. We, we finished the back of the house. Uh, that was exciting. I don't know if we did a little jig, jig, jig dance or a not. A little one. Did we? Yep. I don't really remember that. It seems like so far away. Mm -hmm. And we cladded what we're looking at. The beauty of that is tremendous. Still have just a little more trimming to do. And probably should have got that done before we started in on the house and the flooring, but then we got excited about doing the flooring. And the tile got tile completed got in the bathrooms and then the flooring. We just finished up the flooring in my studio and of course part of the way into the spare bedroom. So that's exciting and yeah. four, like, that was about four hours, three and a half, four hours yeah. to do that. So, I mean, that's actually not all that tough to do. I mean, she's really good about laying it. I'm, I lay it out and, and do all the cuts and, and that kind of fun stuff. But uh, I'm thankful that I don't have to get the boobs in. My fingers finger always get really sore on the ends because you have to grip it just right and pull it and click it in all the flooring pieces. So my fingers are raw by the time we finish a house. That's for sure. And I went and picked up our really cool new little sectional couch. yeah finally found one at kirkland's that i love and he loved it we went and I looked like at it, it yesterday yeah. so and, and what was cool about that is you know we sold we had that big garage sale and got rid of stuff and we got to pay cash for the the new couch which is kind of crazy to think about how much stuff we sold to buy one thing but, uh, you know it is what it is so yeah. anyway we hope that you guys uh, enjoyed week 32 week 33 will probably kick off with a little more flooring and definitely i'm hoping that we can finish the front porch because at some point in time we you know prime it and paint it and do all those things so yeah. we'll wait for the weather to get a little bit cooler before we do that but anyway uh we are so appreciative of you guys uh your comments and your encouragement and so much encouragement mm -hmm. and you strengthen our hearts and our, our resolve and keep us going and, uh, gives us a little bit more hope and, that, and that's always a good thing it's kind of like, you know, in the Bible, it says to encourage one another all the more as you see the day drawing near. And uh, I know that's the second coming of, of Jesus. But uh, as we see the, the day coming near, mm -hmm. the completion of the uh, the farm, it uh, is definitely an encouragement. And we have uh, not only you that uh, we've never met, but those that we have met that encourage us each day. So thank you for that. So <laughs> don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Tell us what you're loving most at this point in the vlog right now, uh, the tile, the floors, the board and batten, whatever. Just let us hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and have a great week. I know I tell you guys this every week, but if you have not yet started on week one of our vlog, or at least caught a glimpse of the beginning, please do so. The changes are unbelievable here. Thanks again for watching.